Yeah. Yo, Snapchats. I haven't even had a chance to read any tech stories today. I've just been sitting on the beach uh, chatting to people about random topics and just... It's awesome. So let's just make that the topic. Let's discuss that. So last night I had this awesome like hour-long conversation with my mate Meow, um, and he does like awesome biohacking stuff, and he's just like a crazy dude. Um, and we're talking about different ideas because I was like, man, I'm running out of ideas for future. And within that one hour, like I had about 15 or 20 different ideas written down for new videos and just new thoughts and just different ways of like just different ideas I hadn't thought of. And that's the power of memes in human conversation. So let's say we discussed uh, RFID implants and body modding. We discussed um, a post kind of animal society where everything's just kind of synthetically made, like synthetic meat, synthetic dairy. And some ideas around a Mars colony, space elevator, uh, biotech, nanotech, genetics, um, where life originated from, was it on Earth or was it from Mars, and kind of like transfer via an asteroid impact. And then CRISPR, gene drives, and kind of, uh, and actually, <laughs> an interesting thing was like, you know how we can bring animals out of extinction using our CRISPR and genetics? Apparently you can devolve a species back to its original roots. So yesterday I was discussing uh, AI and chatbots and uh, kind of like the future of psychology and stuff like that uh, and, and entrepreneurship and all the struggles involved with that. And then this morning, more chatbots and hackathons. So I think my point here is that like these, these discussions with, with people about you know, intellectual topics across a broad range of, of ideas is so rare. Like I'm thirsty for it and there's nowhere. I would love to be like a Greek philosopher, just kind of like lounging around all day, just, just thinking and just like discussing and talking with people about ideas and the future and where it's all going. I think part of the problem comes back to our siloed society um, and the fact that we, we you know, work 40 hours a week in one job. And so when you meet someone for the first time, typically one of the first questions is, what do you do? And the problem is that that question triggers for the next half hour, hour, a conversation about that particular topic and about their work. Um, and it's a very specialized topic and it's like superficial. It's not really deep. I tend to have a pretty bad uh, habit in our group conversations where very quickly I, I just you know, get rid of the bullshit small talk and go straight to an idea or a topic that I'm interested in and get the whole group talking about it. Because I think everyone has very unique ideas and uh, different perspectives on the world. Um, it's just I think a lot of them kind of self-censor. They don't share those ideas because they think they you know, aren't up to scratch or are intelligent enough to talk about them. So imagine if we lived in a culture where even just one day a week everyone stopped working and, and they all met in public places, in, in bars, cafes, beaches, parks, and just discussed ideas and just talked to each other. That'd be so fucking awesome. It would kind of mean every week you'd just be breathing life into this hive mind, into this idea, into society, and people would go away with those new ideas and new thoughts and make them happen and then come back and discuss them again. Or imagine if we had better social platforms that really encouraged intellectual discussion, deep discussion about intellectual topics. I mean, Facebook at the moment is pretty much just regurgitating photos and funny memes and, and news stories. I mean, I really love Snapchat as a platform to really quickly share thoughts um, that anyone can watch. It's unedited, unfiltered, it's just raw. Um, but I'd really love to see other people's thoughts and what they're thinking about, and that's really difficult. Like, imagine if you had an idea or a thought or a problem, and you could be immediately connected to someone anywhere in the world through, like, a, a live chat or a video chat or a call, and you could actually really discuss those problems in, in a deep way. Humans are wired to crave novelty. We, are, we, we want to probe the adjacent possible and discover new ideas. When a new thought comes into your mind that is brand new, you've never heard it before, it's pure ecstasy. I mean, here's a perfect example. Just walking through the woods casually, it's like, oh, the fuck is this hole? What, why, what is in there? Oh my God, why? When a basic income comes into play, I wonder if we'll see a resurgence in that kind of uh, that Greek philosopher type uh, lifestyle where people just kind of lounge around all day and just discuss really intellectual topics. So anyway, a few random thoughts, like snap me yours, send me your ideas, send me your thoughts uh, through Facebook or whatever, just add me on there. Uh, the point of doing these videos isn't for me to talk into a camera, it's to get a discussion happening, yeah. I mean, if you can, let's just have a half hour phone call on Facebook Messenger. Just add me, uh, we'll work out a time, and we can discuss like awesome topics, like whatever you're into, and I'll decide my thoughts, you add your thoughts, we'll have a little hive mind going on, yeah.